Colossal snake. By recent estimates, there are roughly 7,000 to 8,000 snake bites that occur in the United States every year. Fortunately, the development of antivenom has led to significantly less fatalities than in the past. Snake attacks are disproportionate in the country, with the majority of them occurring in warm weather states such as Hi guys, good day and welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite girl, Peace Dora, and I'm back again with another reaction video. today i have my sister here busola j Hi, people. and we are going to be reacting to a video titled 10 most dangerous animals in the usa like i don't really know much about animals do you well i think i do like snakes <laughs> <laughs> so guys before we get into the video if this is your first time here hello how are you doing thank you so much for stopping by my name is peace dora i'm a nigerian kindly subscribe to my channel turn on the notification bell so you get notified whenever i post a new video <laughs> give us a big big thumbs up if you eventually enjoy this video and of course leave a comment for us so guys without wasting much of your time let's get right into the video Number 10. Grizzly Bear North American brown bears have a fearsome reputation to go with their physical prowess and outstanding natural weaponry. The common name, grizzly, is often used in reference to brown bear species found in the US. These include the Ursus arctus horribilis, or the mainland grizzly, the peninsula grizzly, and Kodiak bears, only found in Alaska's eponymous archipelago. The latter rivals the polar bear as the largest land carnivore on Earth. Wow. Kodiak bears have been known to weigh over 1,500 pounds, which is almost as heavy as the average bull. Wow. As evident from the prominent muscular hump on their shoulders, grizzlies are built for power. Moreover, they have massive canines, claws that grow up to six inches, and jaws strong enough to crush bowling balls. As a grizzly stands up on its hind legs, it will often use its superior strength to take down a victim. It will bite at the victim's lower jaw, oh which is goodness. most likely a disarming technique. Confrontations between humans and grizzly bears can occur as a result of hunting as well as camping. They have a phenomenal sense of smell and are often attracted to food that hasn't been stored properly. There have been several reports of campers being dragged out of their tents by attacking grizzlies. Conditioning the bears to campsite food can accustom them to human presence, thus increasing the likelihood of future attacks. Number nine, spiders. This is serious, guys. <laughs> Black widows and brown recluse spiders share an entry on our list as the most dangerous spiders in the US. Really? Female black widows, distinguishable by the red hourglass mark on their abdomens, are the wow. most fearsome by reputation. They'll sometimes devour their partners after mating and own highly toxic venom. The illness associated with black widow envenomation is called latrodectism. It's described by pain, vomiting, and muscle rigidity. Contrary to popular belief, the condition is really fatal for humans. The brown recluse spider, although only slightly larger than a US penny, is quite dangerous in its own right. The hemotoxic properties of its venom can cause tissue necrosis. Jeez. Severe lesions can become infected and may even lead to amputation. Yet, like the black widows, the bite of a brown recluse spider is seldom fatal. Number eight, as small as that cougar. Is like, uh, so deadly. Cougars, also known as pumas or mountain lions, have the widest mountain distribution lion. of any wild animal in the Americas. In the US, populations are found across 16 states, mostly on the west coast. Male cougars average about 150 pounds, but in rare cases may surpass 200 pounds. Even though that's about the weight of the average American male, the difference in power is considerable. Relative to its size, the cougar has the largest paws and hind legs found within the feline family. This enables it to perform outstanding leaps and reach sprinting speeds of up to 50 miles per hour, which is actually faster than a greyhound. It can also swim and is an apt climber. A cougar's muscular body is perfectly designed for grasping and holding large prey, an ability enhanced 
by the retractable claws on its paws. Wow. Attacks on humans are rare, but have seen an increase in recent years, mainly due to expansion into the cougar's natural range. The feline will attack if cornered or if a human triggers its like chase eyes. instinct, typically by turning their back and running away. An attack usually involves a bite to the neck, in which the animal tries to sink its teeth between the vertebrae and into the spinal cord. Children are at greatest risk of getting ambushed by a cougar and the least likely to survive an attack. Number seven, gray wolf. As the largest and strongest member of the Canada family, the gray wolf was a mandatory introduction to our list. Its teeth are specialized for crushing bone and its slender, powerfully built body favors relentless attacks. Although dangerous enough on its own, the wolf is notable for its pack behavior and cooperative hunting. A pack of 15 wolves, for example, is capable of taking down an adult moose. Interestingly enough, the deer species can easily grow to be 15 times heavier than an individual wolf. While not as numerous as in Eurasia, North America has also seen a number of wolf attacks. The most recent fatality occurred in 2010 in Alaska, when a young woman was killed while jogging. Oh my God. There's an argument that most wolf attacks are the result of an individual animal suffering from rabies. Nevertheless, wolf management programs from the United States Wildlife Service describe them as opportunistic hunters that will attack humans if given the chance. Throughout the years, encounters with hunters, shepherds and ranchers have caused wolves to develop a fear of approaching humans. Yet wildlife experts warn against actions that may encourage wolves to be in the proximity of people as it may lead to an increase in violent encounters. Number six, Arizona Bark Scorpion. The Arizona Bark Scorpion, also known as Centuroids sculpturatus, is North America's most venomous scorpion. These creatures prefer riparian areas, meaning that they're found on land adjacent to rivers or streams. The popularity of irrigated lawns and other man-made water systems have led to an increase of scorpion populations in residential areas. The symptoms associated with the Arizona bark scorpion sting can last from 24 to 72 hours. They include intense pain, numbness and convulsions or temporary dysfunction of the affected area. The pain is so intense that victims reported experiencing sensations similar to electric shocks. While fatalities are rare, there are certain groups that are more at risk than others, such as children, the elderly, or people with compromised immune systems. In Arizona, thousands of people are reportedly stung by the scorpion each year. Number five, bull shark. With the Atlantic Ocean on its east coast and the Pacific Ocean in the west, the US faces more than a dozen shark attacks every year. While the Great White receives the brunt of the notoriety, there's an equally, if not more, shark dangerous attack. shark. Wow. Unlike their mainly oceanic relatives, bull sharks are able to thrive in freshwater systems as well. This, this makes them particularly dangerous when considering the US's sprawling riverways. Bull sharks have been found up the Mississippi River, hundreds of miles from the ocean. They were also wow. spotted in the Ohio River and in Maryland's Potomac River. These creatures have pound per pound the most powerful bite of all the shark species. There's a combination of factors that make them particularly dangerous towards humans. It's not only about bite force and size, even though females average roughly 300 pounds or about as much as the typical sumo wrestler. Bull sharks are territorial, temperamental and have no tolerance for provocation. These creatures might have even been responsible for the infamous Jersey Shore shark attacks of 1916, which served as an inspiration for the novel Jaws. Number four, rattlesnake. By recent estimates, there are roughly 7,000 to 8,000 snake bites that occur in the United States every year. Fortunately, the development of anti-venom has led to significantly less fatalities than in the past. Snake attacks are disproportionate in the country with the majority of them occurring in warm weather states such as <laughs> Texas and Florida. Among the various oh venom and serpents found across the land, there are about 16 like rattlesnake snakes. species. <laughs> These creatures are so dreaded that a timber rattlesnake was once put on a flag to motivate infantry forces. 
During the American Revolution, the Continental Marines had a motto flag of a timber rattlesnake that was coiled and ready to strike. Beneath it were the words, don't tread on me. These snakes are distinguishable by the rattle at the end of their tail. It's made of interlocked keratinous segments which vibrate against one another when the snake contracts certain oh, tail geez. muscles. This produces a distinctive rattling sound that acts as a deterrent to predators and as a warning to humans. The Western Diamondback and the Eastern Diamondback are the species responsible for most snake bite fatalities. The latter is known as the most venomous snake in North America and owns the longest fangs of any rattlesnake species. Number three, deer. Deer may sound less terrifying than other animals on our list, but statistically speaking, they're the deadliest. A number of species weigh several hundred pounds and certainly possess the mass to trample people to death. Males own majestic antlers, some of which are several feet across and definitely capable of inflicting severe injuries. However, fatal antler stabbings or brutal trampling isn't what makes the deer the deadliest creatures in the country. Most will simply choose to run away from humans rather than engage them. That's actually the crux of the matter. As deer move across their range, they end up on roadways or highways and collide with vehicles. In the US, this type of collision causes about 200 human deaths and roughly $1 billion in property damage every year. It's so widespread that the idea of being surprised and caught like a deer in the headlights has become a saying. While easier to avoid during the day, deer are particularly difficult to spot at dusk or dawn. Habitat fragmentation is a considerable factor in the rise of deer vehicle collisions. Today's topic was requested by Instagram follower at Ryan Thompson 5499. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below or follow us on Instagram and reach out to us there. Number two, American bison. The American bison is, is North America's largest land animal, like? and nature's equivalent of a gigantic battering ram. Its charge, a devastating combination of mass and speed, is powerful enough to derail a train. Also known as the buffalo, the species of bulls can weigh up to 2,800 pounds in the wild and a staggering 3,800 pounds in captivity. That's about as heavy as the average car. Jeez. They own massive heads, pronounced muscular oh humps and giant forequarters. Their short, curved horns are used yeah, as defensive okay. weapons no, and to fight for status within the herd. America Despite its so mass well. and seemingly lethargic movements, a charging bison can get up to 40 miles oh. per hour. To put that into perspective, Usain Bolt's speed record topped out at 27.8 miles per hour. Historically, these creatures used to roam the continent in vast herds. The spread of bovine diseases from domestic cattle and commercial hunting brought the creatures to the brink of extinction. They went from over 60 million in the late 18th century to only a few hundred thousand towards the end of the 19th century. Recovery efforts spared its extinction and the American bison is now mainly restricted to reserves and national parks. That's where a number of violent human encounters have occurred in the past decades. From 1980 to 1999, at Yellowstone National Park alone, bison attacked three times more people than bears. During this period, there were three reported fatalities, in addition to numerous reports of puncture wounds and broken bones. Oh Official They Will Kill You merchandise is now available at theywillkillyou.com. Some of it is to die for. Number one, oh, number one, moose. Even though they're part of the deer family, and even though they get in a fair share of vehicle collisions, moose most definitely deserve their own entry on our list. They're creatures of many extremes as the largest and heaviest of all deer species. Exceptional bulls stand more than six foot nine inches at the shoulder, meaning they're taller than NBA superstar LeBron James. Their massive antlers can span close to six feet from tip to tip, so you could horizontally fit the average American male between them. The largest bulls weigh close to 2,000 pounds, almost twice as much as a grand piano. Moose are not only monsters in terms of proportion, but also temperament. When it comes to raw data, they attack more people than wolves and bears combined. Wow. They're also perfectly capable of killing both predatory species. 
They injure more humans than any other animal in the Americas and are second only to hippos in worldwide attacks. They can charge people and inflict devastating injuries with their antlers. One common sign of an imminent charge is that the hairs on its neck and shoulders will stand up. Moose are surprisingly limber and unlike other large hooved animals, they can kick in all directions. Not that you should ever do it, but this means there's no safe way to approach them. Thanks for watching. Like they will just wow. kick the person on every part of their body. Yes, like they'll literally they use all their chance, body to fight. Any, there won't be any chance of survival, survival. survival. for anybody they attack. This is oh my god! Like this, this is, is insane. Scary. <laughs> wow, oh. God is wonderful. Like oh. He made all these yeah. animals, different shapes, different like. Can you like, see the, the the what's it called? The spider that as little as that animal is. Who instinct so much, so, so much pain? Yes. Oh gosh. Ah, wow, America, you really have wild animals. <laughs> like this is just so insane. And the one that surprised me the most is the America bison or something like that. Yeah. Like the look of that animal is just so scary. Gosh, it's I've so never seen anything over, like that. All over its head, and I couldn't even see the me eyes. Me too. I could not spot the eyes at <laughs> all. Like what? Oh my goodness, I think that is only found in America because yeah. it's an American animal. I mean, like, God is like watching this. I was just imagining, like, did God make all these things? Wow, oh, our God is a wonderful and mysterious God. Yes. yes. And oh my God, this is just, I don't know, this is just adventurous, scary, and um, I don't know. So, like, what can you say about this? Yeah, for me. It's another discovery for us to understand the America, the, the country America and its animals. Yeah. Looking at the snail, the moose, you know, the uh, what's it called scorpion. Yeah, wow. so deadly. It's really deadly. Those the animals are really and the snake personally i don't like snakes i have phobia for them and i i, I could snakes. barely stay like i could never watch it <laughs> sorry for the drama <laughs> and you hate snakes too i hate snakes with all my heart <laughs> yeah if you're a snake lover no hard feeling we just don't like it just please like it. so thank you guys so so much for, for watching. watching and we hope you were not too scared watching this <laughs> thank you guys so so much for watching thank we you. We hope you enjoyed this one. Kindly leave your comments below. Tell us what you think. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And I'm also going to leave the link to my sister's channel in the description below. Please go check it out and subscribe. Kindly share this video with your friends and loved ones. That's one way you can support the channel. Give us a big, big thumbs up. We love you. God bless you. Stay safe out there. And we'll see you all on our next video. Bye. Bye.